Hey, it's Ubu, and today I'm revisiting the Backrooms The Project demo, which I played back in February, and I had a really good time playing. They had a update as of recent, and um, had a lot of changes, which I'll have on the screen here for you to look at. And um, I thought it would be really cool to dive back in and check out these changes and see uh, if it's any different or any better than the experience I had previously because I actually um, gave this a final judgment of it's very good. So, because I thought it did a really good job of portraying what you could expect in the final game. The game is developed by Night Drives Interactive and you can find the game on Steam. So I'll leave a link in the pinned comment below for you to check it out for yourself. And if you're not familiar with my channel, when I play games like this, especially demos, at the end of the video I do many reviews and then I give them my final judgment, which is my rating system. So, we won't talk anymore here. As you can see, my continue is actually grayed out. So we're going to start a new game and see what happens. They added different filters and modified and changed and added all kinds of things. So, let's see how different it is. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, it's like that tracking bar is, is not very smooth. Whoa. So this time I turned on true VHS. Wow, it's really fuzzy. I might actually change that filter. <laughs> I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, so we got some water. But you can see almond water is delicious almond water. Drinking an almond water will immediately replenish your stamina and permanently increase your total run stamina by a small amount. So I'm going to go ahead and use the first one. There's these creepy dolls, too, which I assume if you collect all of them, maybe something will change or there's a different ending. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, sprint looks really good. I don't quite remember how well the sprint was. This, this seems different to me. It's very smooth, too. Um, before... Sorry, I'm kind of zoning out. Before, um, the game had some issues with frame rates uh, at the beginning. But this still looks really, really smooth. I don't even... I don't remember that. I even turned on some extra options. Okay, a rocket. I definitely don't remember that. Okay, whoa, 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 okay, here we go. Things are very different. Uh, I'm going to change this filter. What you can do real quick right here on the graphics. Let's try cinematic. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh. Ooh, this is clean. I like this. Ooh, what's that? Yeah, this is super smooth. I like this. This is good. Uh, I, this time around, too, I also want to, like, explore a lot more. As best I can. This isn't a real door, but it actually gives me an option to open it. Ooh. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Must be something... Must be something going on with that. Okay, first of all, let's go over here. Got a baseball. We'll play some baseball. Oh no, this guy. How is this possible? Yeah, I don't know, but he's definitely dead. So this is the preliminary report. So the research team returns from expedition and reports strange occurrence. My team is dispatched to the location of the occurrence. We arrive at the site. The site is taped off. Equipment set up. Transponder ID is retrieved from victim and radioed in. Dispatch confirms it's Dave. Camera and tripod are set up to document the incident. I might uh, continue reading all of these things since, you know, you might not have seen my first video. Look at that model. I like that a lot. I'm a huge fan of these kind of games, by the way. I've been really enjoying the liminal space games that I've been playing. Like Dream Core, Fools, this one especially. 
Okay, coffee mug. Dream Core is by far one of my favorites, and I'm really looking forward to the next level that's supposed to come out. We got a flashlight now, since we have a different camera. I'm going to go this way. Now, here's the thing. I do know, obviously, how this demo plays out, or at least how it used to. But we will need that screwdriver, or whatever it is. Don't move, stay still. And there's a window. Not sure what they're trying to say there. So, before, when you get the chisel and you try to return to this other area, a creature chases you from over here. And I want to ex... Oh, no. I wanted to look... If it's there, before we get it... I'm kind of scared... Because this thing is scary. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Well, Alright then. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... I guess that's how we get one of the figures. Okay, let me look around some with the flashlight. Great ambience in this game, also. I like, I like the way everything sounds so far. My headphones are pretty loud right now, too, so... Probably a bad idea. <laughs> Alright, there's a guy screaming still. Okay. Got us another almond water. Okay, the inventory also does pause. I imagine this was an invisible floor. Huh. I'm in like skeptic mode where I have to like overthink everything in this demo now. I'm curious about the secrets. Secrets and stuff. I am quite nervous. I don't scare easily, but this game... These weird liminal space games kind of get to me. Yeah, these weird TVs. The lighting is is improved, especially. You can actually see light coming from a piece of wood now over there. Okay, that was to say motion detection. Dave's golf swing. <laughs> Due to recent events, Section Twenty One A will be sealed off and monitored until further notice. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you or any of your team members witness any unusual activity, please report it immediately. Paul ran off of the toolbox again. He's not answering his radio. Use use the radio's transponder audio signal to track him down. Right, okay. Right, so we turn that on. These crates have like lights glowing on them now, that's cool. I think it's the other way. Yeah. Whoa, oh god. Imagine running through a place like this. Oh my gosh. Oh no, <laughs> he's still mangled. What the hell happened to him? That's a great question. Okay, here we go. Yeah, see, okay, we can actually look at this now. That's, that's a better way to... Uh, showcase that this is a area you need to go to. Before it wasn't like that. Even though I still figured it out, I think that's a good way to show showcase that. All right, we're gonna take this crate. Oh Jesus Christ! I don't know what the hell that thing was. 
when I first played this, I was I was in that same area just now, and I, I, I was like, oh my god, I think I just saw something. I don't know what it was. And when I was editing the video, I remember seeing that. So it actually, but it actually got me that time. It actually spooked me. <laughs> it's some weird thing crawling on the wall. Okay, now before we grab this, I think I've seen everything, right? Now, I wonder how we open that weird door back here. This isn't a real door. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Because we can clearly interact with it. It says open. Anyways. Alright, here we go. This is gonna suck. <laughs> I'm just going to use these to get extra sprint. I actually have five of these now. Okay, we got it. Green means go. Go now. Okay, so this thing is going to come out of that corner over there. Oh! We're going. They put loud footsteps on it. No. Come on. Open. Okay, we actually beat the crap out of that thing here. Before, um, and I'm going to keep bringing up the first time I play this, but this is the point of the video is me revisiting this. Um... It would, it would yell at you really loud. Had a really loud yell as it chased you. It was super scary. I feel like we're way faster when we sprint. I don't know if that's just me. Okay. So we got another figure. Trying loose obstacles. Okay. Yeah, and we got the Geiger counter last time as well. But it, I never heard it go off. So, I'm not sure abandoned all hope. Nice. If we can actually use the Geiger counter. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll just think about it for a minute because Oh god, I hear so many weird noises in this game, it scares me. There's a crate here. Oh, okay. Okay, diskette. LSLV disk. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what we do with this either. The computer has malfunctioned. <clears throat> this spaceship Columbia is a phenomenon. It is an incredibly amazing piece of machinery. <laughs> Yeah, that video before was like of George Bush Sr. or something. I wanted to try something with this crate. Oh wait, where am I? <laughs> I've lost. Oh, I'm lost. Help. Can I put this down here? Yeah. Lift has no power. Well, how do we give it power? I wonder. I'm going to take the crate with me, I guess. I want to see if I can figure something out here. No food or drink allowed by the pool. 
keep electronics away from the water. I appreciate the developer doing that. <laughs> when I when I first played this, I was like, oh, let's go in the water. And then it, it killed me, and I had to start the demo all the way over. <laughs> so I appreciate them adding some sort of checkpoint system to the game now. I don't have a key for it. Okay. All right. Oh. Now I wonder if this is an Easter egg because I didn't try. Okay, so that one went in. Just bear with me for a second. Okay, this is the last golf ball. Let's see if getting all of them in there does anything. I guess not. That's disappointing. <laughs> Got a rubber ducky. Nice. Okay. Let's look around some. Oh yeah, that's a really weird looking area. That doesn't look fun to run across. I'm sure something would be chasing us in that area. Uh, I got elite on the calculator again. Hell yeah. Gordon's got the toolbox key. He should be dropping in any moment now. I'm taking my lunch break. Marvin. Yep. <laughs> He's definitely dead. Some weird music. All right, we'll turn it off. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, I don't know what's going on. Um, we need to get that briefcase. Damn it! <laughs> oh man. Alright, let's see if this works. I need to throw it, not drop it. Oh yeah. Ooh, I think we can get it. All right, we got it. Okay, so we got the key, which is the toolbox key. So we're gonna have to go back to the toolbox in the dark, scary place. Examine. Put down. Can I not like? I want to throw this in the pool. I guess we can't. Well, damn. There doesn't seem to be anything different in this area, which is disappointing. I thought I saw a picture of a giant rubber ducky on the update, so I'm not sure how you get that to activate. We have a rubber ducky. I don't know what we do with it, though. Okay, we need to go back now. Two... Oh, there's another rubber ducky. Oh, oh, I didn't even realize that. I didn't know I needed to be looking for rubber duckies. Oh, damn. I haven't seen any more other than those two. I love the sounds of the camera. All the the noise from like handling it is actually really well done. Okay, this is the tough part.
I have to be quiet. So I want to listen for the creature. I really want to go back to the door with the Geiger counter. This is going to suck. Damn it! You heard it, right? I made a noise and I picked up the crowbar. I don't even know if trying to go back is worth it. I'm too scared. Okay. That room is so scary. Okay, I had an idea. What if I got a bunch of crates and I crawled through that hole right there? That'll, that'll take me a while, but maybe there's something in there. Well, we found a bunch of crates so far. I want to try that. So I will be right back. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be enough crates. Also, while I was running around, I kept getting lost trying to get back here, and I found a different area that I want to go look at. Okay, I, I see. And what I found will actually help us, I think, in what I'm trying to do. I was trying to crouch jump. It didn't work. So it's... Oh, God. I think it's over here. Yeah, so you can see that arrow pointing that way. I got lost for some reason, and I came over here. And there's a pile of crates back here, which I have not seen before. Unless I completely forgot. I'm not really sure what this is. Hello? Hello? Whoa, this is like a different area. Okay, we need these crates. At least for my theory that I have. I'm not familiar with this long hallway. Oh! There's a drop down right here. Which I assume will kill me. Damn, I really want to try, but I, I gotta. I want to do my um, crate idea first, which we'll get back to doing real quick. Oh, I was looking around again. <laughs> Found someone's shoes where the skateboard was, and there's another rubber ducky here. Just around the corner where we found this, I just realized eight. Maybe I need eight creepy dolls. I, I'm i discovering all kinds of things looking around here. Oh, it worked. Okay. Oh, shoot, dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh. oh. God, that scared me. You're not supposed to be here, Jim the Dev. <laughs> I figured it out. Take that, Jim. <laughs> Don't scare me. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm kind of scared, actually. I didn't mean to laugh. Uh, okay. Oh damn you. I wonder if I could make that jump. 
Oh, this was, um... This is... That door we can see from all the way up, you know, down yonder. There's a radio. And a boarded up hole in the wall. Ooh, this is fun. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Look at that, that looks weird. I don't see anything. Oh, look at this. Holy crap. What in the world? <laughs> Oh, weird. It's... <laughs> okay. That's super strange looking. Whoa! Holy crap, look at this! Oh my gosh! That looks crazy! Oh, it's a- it's a- Oh god, it's loud. Whoa! That's really cool. Holy crap, dude. You didn't have to do all this. <laughs> Whoa. So we found my eyes. <laughs> we found another rubber ducky, which is good. How far can we jump? Hmm. I really wonder if we can jump across this thing. Okay, let me try to let me try to time this. So from here to there, this seems pretty far, right? We actually don't know if I can make that. <laughs> Is there a? I think there are checkpoints, right? It's something like that. Oh, I'm nervous to try. Too nervous. Okay. I, I don't know if I should. <laughs> Is, isn't there a way to save? I thought it said that. Screw it. Let's try it. <laughs> oh no. I'm scared. This is weird. Another rubber ducky. Hello? Examine. Employee of the month, Gordon. Keep up the good work. Number one, February 1999. I'm not really sure what to make of this. Okay, we can't go around them. Maybe I just leave it on.
Alright, it's really dark. Let me see if I can get this jump down again. Crabs. Or Oh, God. I thought I messed up. Okay, I think we're done here. That is so bizarre. Dude, this was worth doing for sure. You're not supposed to be here. No, you. <laughs> Alright, we did it. Now... I guess we'll go back. I I don't remember other areas other than like the hole on the floor. That'll be easy to get back to. Oh, what was that? Oh, what was that? I'm I'm freaking out. Not a real door. You're not a real door, man. I haven't seen other ducks. Huh. Yeah, you see how this says don't move, stay still? There's the window with the sun and the water. I wonder if I was supposed to stand there and, like, stare at it for something to happen. Okay, we're back where the pool is, uh, just around the corner. Maybe we haven't found all the rubber duckies for whatever Easter egg that's for. I guess for the giant duck that's supposed to show up. Damn, even when going in that place, I haven't found them all? Like, holy crap. <laughs> That must be really well hidden. Because uh, I don't really know where else to look, to be honest. Huh. Maybe, maybe around here or somewhere. I don't know. Let's continue on. Oh, wait. What's the key for? Oh, it's for the toolbox. Not sure what the Geiger counter's for. Or the diskette. Oh. Huh. We still have the chisel. Let's go through here. I don't know if we can come back. That would have been a good place for a duck. Alright, this room is really weird. Right, door's locked. Jesus. That Daisy song creeps me out so bad. Examine. This is different. Oh. Pools or waves, and then birthday cake. Oh, God. Oh, hey, dude. Ooh. Jesus. What the frick, dude? <laughs> oh, my God. Does it have a number on it? Oh. What does that say? To... Tobias. Tobias. Okay. Look. It's stuck between his armor. Oh, he's got a sword stuck in him. I don't know. I didn't notice that before. But he's been stabbed with a sword. Oh, snap, dude. So we have six rubber duckies. This place makes me really nervous. I, I don't like it. Let's go back and see if six did anything. Oh, look. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Look at that. 
It's a giant rubber ducky. Oh, pet. Wow. <laughs> hey. <laughs> wow, look at that. That's so funny. <laughs> oh. That's scribbled out now. I didn't do... Wait, who scribbled it out? No food or drink allowed by the pool. Food. Or drink. It makes me think all of a sudden if you found some food or something, you could throw it into there. <laughs> and then maybe that does something? I, I don't know. Because I threw, like, the the box in there. Maybe that's electrical, and it, it sprayed out that sign. Something did. Weird. This is really weird. Okay. Okay, this one's unlocked. Got another key. Oh, what? Oh, Jesus. So this person was literally trying every single possible combination they could come up with. 672. Okay. We're in the upside down. <laughs> this has been a fascinating experience so far. Trying to, um... Find all these secrets. Because before, I just kind of played through it. Jesus. I hate this. Examine. To whom it may concern. The cake is a lie. Yep, and just says that over and over again. This is... Oh. We have hair now. Hell yeah, dude. That's one of the updates. <laughs> so now we have all eight of these. This is really gross and creepy, and I hate it. Okay, there's something running off. Oh, I'd never noticed that before. That is super gross and creepy. Oh, hello? Now, What does that mean? How do you... Sorry, let me... Okay, so we can jump down there. Or... We can go back. This definitely was not here before. I'm not sure... If the eight dolls is what unlocked... You know, this here? Jesus. I am so on edge right now. Or if we need to go all the way back... Where we saw the red eight... Oh, look. This wasn't here before. I was coming back to get another crate to take it to that hole. I wanted to throw another crate in it. But this is here. And this is totally different. So let's just jump in it. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Oh! Holy crap, dude. The sound, that sound is crazy. Was that me or the, I guess it was me and the camera. I don't want people finding my body like that. That'd be pretty terrible. End of tape. Okay. I, okay, it's gonna play the trailer for the game now. Some kind of art gallery, and I guess that's when we clip through and fall in. This is a really good trailer, by the way. Whoa! <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Look at him go! Man, this game has crazy potential. It just seems to do everything right. I, I don't know how to explain that. Thanks for playing my demo. Continue playing to discover another ending. Which I already got, I believe, the only other ending. I could be totally wrong. There might be more than two endings. There's their, their Steam and their Twitter. I'll have that in the pin comment below. Okay, so here we are. There is a continue now. That's kind of interesting. So, yeah. A little different approach to this uh, playthrough. Uh, I really wanted to explore all the nook and crannies and changes and um, seeing if I could figure out these endings and also just talk about the update in general. And I'll obviously have everything memorized on what was changed in the update because it was quite a long list. But uh, I think the game noticeably, right off the bat, was noticeably performing better. And it was a very smooth experience. So, uh, so that's a very good job there and I appreciate that. I think the game functions really, really well. I'm on, I was on medium settings to be fair. I'll show you what I had actually just to be transparent. Um, so I had, of course, the cinematic filter I think looks really good. Um, so I have all this enabled except for motion blur because I don't like motion blur and I have texture quality on medium. And it was running really, really well. Even with me recording and everything all at the same time. So that's great. Very, very well improved upon there. Um, it was fun trying to uh, solve the Easter eggs and the um, different endings, I suppose, with the creepy dolls. I never found all of them before. And when I found the rubber ducky the first time I played, I thought that was just sort of a like a joke. Like, it's just a jokey item. But when I went to where I wasn't supposed to go using the crates, I stacked up crates and crawled through that hole where the ladder was. Um, there was all kind of weird stuff back there, like that sun... And waves, like the big window with the ocean and stuff, or whatever that was. That was so weird. It was really cool, though, to see that. It was like that cabin that was, like, almost quarantined off um, on that long bridge area. And then we got to find a bunch of dancing crabs, and <laughs> that was really weird. It was, it was really interesting, though, to, to jump into some place like that and find it. And I like the little note from the developer saying, you're not supposed to be here. I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah, so that was fun solving that and getting all eight creepy dolls gave us a different way to exit, which just kind of threw us out of the sky and <laughs> I guess killed us. But um, that was pretty funny. I still don't understand the floppy disk and the Geiger counter. Pretty weird. And that we kept the crowbar and the chisel. Yeah, there's. I don't. I don't know if there's something else in this demo that I'm not getting or I'm missing somewhere. I'm not sure what that is, but um, yeah, it's cool that there's the possibility at least that there might be something else that I missed. Um, it's very in-depth for a demo. It's very impressive in my opinion. And I think the changes and everything did this game a lot of good. 
And seeing just the way they do things and approach their style to the back rooms and just the overall aesthetics and the atmosphere and everything is very effective. I'm actually quite impressed with this developer and their work. I think they're doing a great job with this. I've played a few Backrooms games that are just kind of okay, and um, this one's up there for being one of my favorites, especially like with uh, Dream Core. And uh, I'll have to play Pools again and give that another go, which I, I really like that game, but Backrooms the Project and Dream Core, and I think, what is it, um, Found Footage Expedition? Something like that? That game is really good too. But Dream Core and Backrooms of Project might be the top two liminal space games that I've played so far. I think they're really good. And this is just a demo. I guess Dream Core is technically a demo. So, very, very odd that the Backrooms can be so similar in the way it's uh, used in games, but it's hard to describe what, what makes these games stand out other than just the... Just, they hit the right note on aesthetics and sound design and atmosphere. They're, like, bordering between, like, Uncanny Valley kind of experience, where it's just a very strange, uncanny experience. And then other games kind of hit a little bit below that, where it feels more like an adventure game or something. You know what I mean? I don't know. Just the whole concept of liminal spaces and everything is very strange. Um, and, and very fascinating to me in, in a lot of ways, and I can understand why they wouldn't be fascinating to other people, because it's just like, you know, you just walk around and nothing happens, you know, you can say that about a lot of games, but it's really about just letting your mind wander and experience just the strangeness of empty environments, and just how unique they can be, and just what's unique is how they're able to get in a, an emotion from you when there's nothing happening. I think there's something very interesting about that. I don't know how else to describe it. It's very esoteric, like almost cosmic in a weird way where it's like, I don't know, maybe it's just a collection of memories kind of come together in some weird way. And when we see these environments, it taps into something subconscious. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm way overthinking that, but... Anyways, Backrooms of Project is excellent. I think it's a very, very good game now that I've played it again with the updates and trying to find all the secrets and um, Easter eggs and stuff. I think it's very in-depth for just being a demo. So I think that's excellent for them. And it makes me very excited to see what else this game has in store. I hope they can kind of keep the same pacing and intrigue throughout. And I think what would uh, continue to make this game great as well is having... A continuation of sort of side objectives you can pursue that are, you know, maybe for secret endings and things of that nature. I don't think they need to be overtly complex or anything, which I think this time finding the rubber duckies is actually kind of, I don't know why I never thought about going through that hole at the beginning of the game, like up in the wall. I was like, oh, you just can't go there. But just, it randomly clicked with me that I'm like, oh, I can climb on those crates. What if I just brought a whole bunch of crates with me and I jumped up and go went through there? I think it'd be cool to continue that sort of idea throughout the levels, I assume, all the different levels this will have. But also not make it, like, the focus of the game. So if someone wants to just go through the game and experience it and just kind of progress and be like, that was really cool, I like that. Or if they're the kind of person where they're like, I want to figure out everything secret about this game, they can go back and do that as well. I think that would be a good thing to make it a, a choice. So, yeah, overall, I thought this was actually really good. Weirdly better than my first time. Not by much, but just enough because I spent the time to explore and go through everything. Really made it a better experience for me. Um, so, yeah. Very impressive. Good job on the update. I look forward to seeing more from this developer and the work that they have in store for us and all the different levels. And yeah, it'll be really cool, I think. This will be, I think, one of the top Backrooms games for a while, in my opinion. So if I were to give this another final judgment, Backrooms a Project, I would say, demo, I would say that this is really, really good. Like, my opinion is basically the same, but I am more impressed that the, the update was just very good. It's just a very good update and made the game run better. The secrets are cool. It, it felt rewarding to, to go for the secrets because I like seeing little developer notes in games like that and just like the weird architecture 
and lighting and sound and stuff in the secret area was just very cool. I was just I really liked that. Seeing little additions as well, like the weird bloody handprints going up into that hole at the end. You know, when we heard like the stomping after we got the last creepy doll. That was a cool addition. Things like that. You know, a lot of the back rooms games are more about like show but don't tell. Like I'm gonna show you weird things. I'm not gonna explain what they are. You're just gonna have to experience them and then take do with it as you wish. So yeah, very cool. Keep up the great work. I wish you the best of luck on your future endeavors, and I look forward to seeing more levels to this, whenever that is, or the final release, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I'll leave a link in the pin comment below and tell me what you think in the comments. I want to hear all your thoughts. I reply to my comments and read all my comments. So let me know what's up. What did you think of this game? And do you agree or disagree with anything I said? Also, if you enjoy my content, hit subscribe, like, comment, share, do all that fun stuff. I would really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, go play this for yourself. Uh, form your own opinion and tell the developer what you think. I'm sure they would really appreciate that. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say about it. So thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll see you in the next one.